Hangar fires are more common and can be far more damaging than is sometimes imagined. So if a fire does break out, it is essential that it is extinguished swiftly, effectively and reliably. With the multi-million dollar price tag on today's generation of aircraft, there is room for neither compromise nor complacency. In 2012, Fire Engineering Solutions was awarded the contract to design and manage the fire protection system for a new 2,500 square metre hangar at Brisbane Airport. The environmental policies introduced by the Brisbane Airport Corporation in 2012 had a major bearing on the design solution. The policy meant that no pollutants are allowed to escape from the hangar into the environment. This included fuel spills, rainwater, firefighting foam and aircraft washdown. This meant incorporating a spill capture system into the design solution. Normally a traditional hangar foam system would require a capture tank with a capacity of over 500 cubic metres due to the high volume of foam that these systems discharge. Most hangar sites at Brisbane Airport have a high water table, so due to the cost and construction difficulties of providing such a large tank, it was essential that the selected design solution required the smallest tank possible. Fire Engineering Solutions approved design incorporated a 60 cubic metre capture tank, at least 10 times less than a traditional hangar foam system. The risk of fire damage to aircraft in hangars is well documented. Tests conducted by the FAA and others show that an aircraft fuselage skin can fail within 45 seconds of fire exposure. Since the value of any aircraft inside the hangar will often be several times the value of the hangar itself, the primary goal was to suppress any fire before fuselage failure occurs. Fire Engineering Solutions considered various traditional design options, including AFFF systems and oscillating firefighting monitors. However, in addition to needing a very large capture tank, these options were not fast enough to achieve the goal of suppressing a fire before fuselage failure is likely to occur. There have also been instances where unnecessary discharges of low expansion foam have caused costly damage to aircraft and the unacceptable release of foam into the environment. The approved design floods the hangar with bubbles that are 700 parts air to one part liquid. This solution exceeds the NFPA 11 requirements and is able to suppress fuel fires within the target time. To protect against internal fire spread, the adjoining pump house and offices are sprinkled. This has the added advantage of eliminating the need for costly fire rated walls and doors. To attack small fires, fire extinguishers and fire hose reels are placed near exits. If these measures fail, the Airport Rescue and Firefighting Service are automatically called, either by the operation of the automatic systems or manual call points. The system requires significantly less water and foam concentrate compared to low expansion systems, reducing the cost and risk of environmental damage. High expansion foam is also preferable because it minimises aircraft damage during an accidental actuation. Foam is discharged through overhead foam generators that are lightweight structures with no moving parts. This minimises maintenance and roof loads. The use of high expansion foam fire protection is a relatively new technology to Australian federal airports, so obtaining approval for the design was a lengthy process and Fire Engineering Solutions was required to submit several alternative solutions before approval was finally granted. On the other hand, the proposal to provide a capture tank was accepted immediately. Flame detectors, selected for long distance detection and high false alarm immunity, are positioned in each corner of the hangar to provide the fastest possible response to a fire. To minimise accidental actuation of the deluge system, the control's logic requires two of the four flame detectors to operate before automatically starting the foam deluge. Simple, intuitive operation and maintenance features are built into the design, 
and the deluge system can be started and stopped using the manual controls located near each hangar fire exit. A mimic panel is located airside of the hangar and shows the status of both the fire indicator panel and the foam system. To carry out maintenance testing, two special operating modes are provided. An isolation switch stops signals to the fire indicator panel and on to the airport rescue and firefighting service. And a test switch prevents foam concentrate being used inadvertently. During commissioning, all of the key design parameters were tested and measured. To test the sensitivity of the flame detectors, a small fuel fire was positioned in the middle of the hangar. All four detectors responded to this minimum sized fire. The foam blanket builds at a rate of three quarters of a metre per minute, compared to the minimum NFPA requirement of less than half a metre per minute. Supplementary underwing protection was not fitted to the hangar because the largest aircraft able to fit through the doors have wing areas less than 280 square metres. NFPA codes suggest that wing areas above this should be provided with underwing supplementary protection. Once the flame detectors stop detecting fire, the foam deluge system stops automatically after 15 seconds. If the fire restarts, the system will also restart. The deluge system can also be started and stopped manually at any time by arriving firefighters. Thank you for your attention. The team at Fire Engineering Solutions are some of the most experienced people in the industry. If you require any further information or have any fire engineering problems, please feel free to contact us.